As a busy single mom with an award-winning media agency, the last thing Amy Leibrandt expected was to find herself pole dancing, not just for herself, but for her country. I got into pole dancing about four and a half years ago. Um, I've never been really that into exercise as a child or as an adult, and I've tried different exercises, and I was really looking for something that I was interested in and that kept me coming back, and I signed up for a trial class. Literally from there, I was totally addicted and started coming every single week. The amazing thing about pole dancing is you start by being able not to do much. Then you, in a couple months and you're able to start climbing the pole, you start doing these tricks that you've seen and you never thought were possible. The nice thing about it is that as you grow and become stronger, you're able to do these more advanced tricks and these more exciting routines. So there's this constant sense of achievement that you're getting better and every milestone you hit is just an amazing celebration. As a survivor of GBV, Amy dances as a form of therapy, making every one of her competitive achievements twice the victory. I never imagined that I would be competing. And then in 2022, I entered my first national competition. I got really excited by the whole competition experience, but I didn't end up placing at the competition. It was really just for me about being kind of in that environment with all those amazing athletes. So I continued doing pole as a hobby. And then I was so lucky to be invited to go to the World Pole Championships in Italy in December last year. I was invited as a wild card. So it was this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity and I ended up going to Worlds participating with these amazing athletes and it was this incredible experience that I thought I would never in a million years get to get to do ever. The routine that I did at Worlds was a Harley Quinn routine and I was obviously very nervous about having to pull a new routine together. I had used this routine or a version of this routine at another competition in Joburg last year. So I worked with my coach and we adapted some of the tricks, made it a little bit more difficult as I had gotten a bit stronger in those couple months. And I really liked the character of Harley Quinn. This routine is really about her finding herself and uh, getting over the Joker and becoming a more strong, independent woman. One whose son Ethan is the reason for everything she does, including entering competitive pole dancing. I love my mom because she cares for me and she provides me with what I need and I'm proud of her because she is like a world athlete and she inspires me to do my best. Just when you think you know Amy, she tells you she's a huge fan of sewing, knitting, baking and is an old soul on the inside. For her dad, Robert Lebrandt, expecting the unexpected comes standard. Hi there, Ames, what are you making? Hey, Dad. Chocolate brownies. Ooh. Just in good. time. When I first heard about Amy doing pole dancing, I was amazed, but not so amazed. I know Amy likes extreme sports. Obviously, there's a lot of stigma around pole dancing, but knowing Amy, she was going to conquer it. Throughout the months she was beginning, I saw the bruises, the hard work. I saw the excitement and how she progressed. I saw the videos as well, and I realized that it's a lot of strength and a lot of training. I actually love coming around here. This is, I do a few odd jobs around the house, but I think making food is one of the top priorities in our family. And brownies, this old recipe, which been in our family for many years, which Ethan has actually taken over and made his own. My job is normally the mixing and the licking of the bowls, if I can get it away from Ethan. A sense of achievement, coupled with Ethan and Robert's pride and respect, has always been more than enough recognition for Amy. And then her country took notice. This is my South African tracksuit top that I got as part of the World's Championship in Italy in December. For me, it, is, it was such a once in a lifetime experience. I never imagined that I would ever be wearing a South African tracksuit. You know, I've made it to the World Championships. It's, you know, what is the next step? I really want to focus on training and technique this year before I enter another competition. So I think 2023 is more about learning and upskilling and maybe more competitions in 2024. 
The legacy I would like to leave is obviously for my son. I'm a single mom and for him to see that you can do anything that you want to do if you really put your mind to it. Even if you think that you're too old or too unfit or not strong enough, if you really work hard and you're really interested and passionate about something that, you know, the world is your oyster. And so for me, if I can teach him to really go after his passions and his dreams, then I think that I've achieved my goal. Amy Leibrandt did dance like no one was watching. And with that, she's thrived as a mother, survivor, businesswoman, and a proud South African.